Big Blue. You can see the cats right there on the deck of the house. See them all? My mom, there's one up against the house. That's Mama Kitty. My mom is taking those cats on. She's out there every day. She walks out the door. She's like the cat herder or something. They all come running around her. Every day she's out there feeding them kitty cats. Keep them going. Uh, it is February 19th, 2020. And I'm actually going trucking. I um, got all the stuff done on my truck. I did a bunch of other things too. Did a bunch of little errands, things that I'd been needing to take care of around the farm there. Just work stuff, fixing stuff, got all that stuff all done. And I went to go pull the truck in. Um, the plans have changed. I was supposed to take off on Friday. And um, I guess the plans all changed and everything. And here I'm taking off on Wednesday. I don't know, some bought a load or some cancel. I don't know. I, I, I can't keep up with it all. Kind of goes with back and forth and stuff all the time. Oh. But, um, <clears throat> so he wants me to go pick up a load today. So I'm running up to Appleton and I'm going to be picking up a load in Appleton. I'm going off to Texas. And, um, I'll head it down to Texas and everything, delivering it. And I guess from there, he's going to have me picking up a load and going to uh, Mount Crawford. And then I guess Mount Crawford will be coming back home again or something like that. I guess the schedule's changed or something like that. Seems like it changes a lot. But I had some things I needed to do on the truck. And I got all my other projects done. I got my pickup all done, everything else. And I went to go pull my semi down in there and it got really cold last night and all the snow and everything just turned to ice. And I drove on down there by my shop and I actually got stuck really bad. <laughs> it was crazy, I couldn't move. It was pretty much flat ground down there. I mean, there was a little bit of, an, you know, of a slope to it, but nothing much. And this truck without a trailer on it, just it don't go anywhere in snow. And I fought with it for about an hour and a half or something like that, but I just couldn't do it. So I ended up coming in and, and I ended up calling up my brother, lives about 20 minutes away and asked him if he could come out there and help me. And he came out and I had to hook the tractor all up to it and everything else. It was just, all I needed was just to get moving. I couldn't, I just couldn't get moving. And I mean, he hooked the tractor up and we started to go and and once I got started going, then I was pretty much catching him and crawled it up out of there. But I didn't want to mess with it and sit there and work on my truck all night long last night and stuff. And then this morning, not be able to, you know, fight with trying to get it up out of there. So I pulled the truck up out of there and I just said, nope, can't get it down there. Not going to mess with it. And so... No work on the truck. Um, there is this uh, drain pipe that I want to get fixed. I have the part and everything. Um, maybe when I'm down in Texas or something, maybe when it's warmer, maybe I might have enough tools with me in my toolbox. I might be able to change this. We'll see. Maybe I can mess with it down there and stuff. And everything else is going to have to wait so I can get it in and out of my shop. So we're heading up to Appleton, Wisconsin. Takes me about an hour to get up there from here. You can see the start of the windmills here off on the left. There's windmills north of us too. There's like a big, you know, group of, grouping of them and everything. But there's a lot of them off to the left here. It's actually a big windmill farm. They're kind of scattered over here. <clears throat> this is kind 
kind of start of it right here. You can see up ahead of me there. But then you go off to the left there and it, it goes off for, I don't know, maybe two miles or kind of here and there and stuff. And then there's this huge farm over there, it's just windmills everywhere. And what it, used to, what it is, is it, it's a farmer, I can't remember the name, but it's got his name on the sign out there and it says whatever, farm, windmill farm. And it's all his farmland, and the guy has just put windmills on everywhere. And I think he kind of stopped farming, like most of the people around here. He didn't, if you didn't have, if you didn't have thousands of acres and milking, you know, five hundred thousand cows, it's just you can't make money anymore. <clears throat> so a lot of the smaller farmers, like my parents, that you know, milked, you know, fifty, hundred, you know, hundred cows. You just really can't keep it going these days. And so a lot of the farms shut down. This guy here turned his farm into a windmill farm.
one thing I've noticed on being home is uh, the snow here. We got the snow and it stayed. It's been here for, you know, we've had actually, I think it was two weeks. We had snow here, which is kind of rare down here. And all the snowmobile trails are open. It's not a ton of snow, but there's enough to have them open. So everybody I've been seeing the snowmobiles out running around up and down the trails. So that's good. You guys getting to bring out their old sleds and go for runs. Conditioning unit on the outside and everything, and I was, I've always wondered what in the world's in there. I guess the guy is distilling in there, making some kind of alcohol or something. There we go, guys. A little drive to the countryside. Down here in Wisconsin. This is right down here below is uh, Fond du Lac. I could jump out on uh, the main highway, Highway 23, and run that. It comes into Fond du Lac too, but kind of hard to get across 23 there's this hill where I pull out there you can't see cars and you pull out there and your cars come over the hill you gotta hit the brakes stuff so I kind of like coming through this way a little bit better and uh, it's about a mile and a half up the road here and it'll just jump on 151 151 and run me right over to 41 and up to Appleton we go. I have uh, 43,000 pounds of jalapeno, avocado, uh, mozzarella sticks, same stuff, frozen load. Heading down to Marigold on Meacham Boulevard. We are all loaded up. And look who's in front of us. We got Eric with ADL Transport.
What I decided I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, follow him. And uh, we might as well just uh, kind of do a little convoy on down to Texas. There's really no reason. Um, I can go a mile or two more than him, but an hour, but eh, we'll just run together. Like he has trailer number R sixty six. a quick trip just before Oshkosh on 41. texting me saying that he wanted to get a cat scale. Wow, this white car just about went into the ditch just now. <laughs> it's an older guy. And he he just like started just he just kind of like swerved way almost into the snow. their drug. It would have been all good. We could have just swapped trailers. That way everybody would have went on time. But it all worked out. <clears throat> you need to learn how to shift faster. You got me caught on a light. Explanation point, explanation point.
noticed that truck was broke down at the light there. truck scaled out uh, this trailer that I have actually has a scale on it but it was I jumped on reddit it was reading 37,000 pounds back there and I know that's not correct so something has gotten boogered up with that scale back there somebody's messed with the adjustment on it or something because it um my truck, my, the scale inside of my truck was showing me I'm like 33 something. And there's no way it's 37 back there unless they overloaded me. Unless they loaded me like 45,000 pounds. Stay out here. We're up to 20 degrees, it says. I think that was just the sun hitting it. Hitting my thermometer. I think it's a little colder than that. But a uh, nice sunny day here in Wisconsin. We got to do ourselves 1,109 miles to get down to Fort Worth, Texas. So I'm going to let you guys go. I hope everyone out there is having themselves a great day, great night. For watching this here video. If you're not, certainly just try that all over again tomorrow. I will catch you guys later. See ya.